Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Shelby and today I am super excited because I'm going to be doing my April reading journal plan with me. It is officially springy, you guys. I love this warmer weather we are getting. I just really love transition months in general. I'm a big spring and fall kind of girl, but I am especially excited for April because it is my birthday month, so I decided to go for a very simple floral purple theme. Um, one, because purple is my favorite color, and two, because lavender is my favorite flower. I just love how it looks and how it smells, so I'm really excited to be doing two of my favorite things for this birthday month spread. For the collage page, I decided to go with a mix of photos of the actual plant lavender and a mix of things that I found on Pinterest when I searched lavender aesthetic. So you have a few things that are more on theme than others. For example, the macaroons in the lower corner aren't really on theme for the spread, but I liked how they look and I love macaroons. Is that how you say them? I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that, but I'm, I'm gonna go with macaroons. Um, and I just think all of it really turned out well. I found some cute quotes and I think it all just came together for a really relaxing start to the spread, which is basically what I wanted to convey in the spread, just something super calming and pretty and happy. For the title page, I decided to keep going with a more minimalistic title as I have for the past few months. I've been choosing um, ones that take up less room because I think it looks more clean that way and they're just so much easier to do. So for this one, I decided to draw a few lavender plants, which are not that hard, just some squiggly lines and dots surrounding the upper like half to three quarters of the stem and I decided to create a little border around it and do April in this really fun font that I will be doing throughout this spread but it's just been really relaxing to draw these very easy flowers I've had a lot of fun with them with arranging them throughout this entire um, bullet journal month so I hope you guys uh, are not going to get too bored of me drawing these out because they will be coming up a lot In keeping with this theme of simplicity for the entire spread, I have decided to keep my color palette also very simple. I used the purple and gray midliners. I've used the purple Tombow pen in one of the lighter purples. And I have also used the Pigma Micron drawing pens in point one, um, three, and five. So those are all of the materials I have used for this entire spread just to keep it very uniform and very pretty and I just love how this calendar page turned out it's basically you know what it always is for my calendar I decided to kind of create the illusion of the little flowers from the lavender kind of floating up with the April and then I drew some more lavender plants on the bottom but yeah it's basically a very simple spread one I've done a bunch of times before and I think it just all looked really pretty with the purple. Moving over, we have my to be read and my days read spread. Once again, just kind of doing what I always do, keeping with the same fonts I have been using throughout this entire spread. I also decided to do less books on my shelf for my to be read, and I added a little vase with a lavender plant inside it just because I thought it looked cute on that shelf. 
for my day's red i decided to go with diamonds this month for no particular reason just that i thought they were cool and they looked really good and then that quote at the bottom is from a nursery rhyme called lavender is blue some of you may have heard it from the 2015 cinderella movie that's where i first heard the song and i absolutely loved it as a lullaby and i thought it was pretty fitting giving this month's theme that i added as a quote at the bottom but I really loved how this entire page turned out. I added more of those little floating petals and I think it all just came together really well. Next up on the next page, we have the YouTube tracker, which is basically what I did last month. As you guys know, I have been playing around with how I track my YouTube videos for the month, but I think I finally settled on a way that I like. I decided to just do a very simple lavender header at the top. I thought it actually ended up looking really cute. I also formatted my title a little bit differently, bringing the Y all the way down to the bottom of the tracker. I don't know if that made sense, but I really like how it turned out. I felt so smart for thinking of it in the moment, but I really love how this page turned out because it's just really simple and it's so useful. This is one of those pages that I really do use like almost on a daily basis as I plan and produce my videos for YouTube. So for right now, I just kind of drew out the boxes, but you will see all of the little details, how I track my videos in the final flip through, but essentially I have a space for the title, I have a space for whether it's been filmed, edited, and the thumbnail has been created, and I have a little section to tell me if I have posted it or not. So that's essentially what is in each box, and once again, you'll see that in the final flip through. Next, super simply, is my brainstorm page, basically a very blank page as it is where I essentially just write out any thoughts or ideas that I have throughout the month of April. To kind of keep in this simplistic vibe, I just went with a very simple border around it. It doesn't really have anything to do with the lavender theme. I just kind of liked how simple and nice it looked. I went for kind of a loopy border around the edges and I really like how it turned out. Next up is a page that I literally never change because I am super happy with how I have formatted it all of these months and that is my book's red spread. This one is basically just where I keep all of the books that I read throughout the month of April. There is a section for the title of a book, a section for the star rating I've given a book, whether it's a physical book, an ebook, or an audiobook, if I have rated it on Goodreads, and the dates I have read it. This is so incredibly helpful in helping me track my reading and is so helpful when I am doing my end of the month wrap ups. It is really nice to just be able to look back at this table and kind of see what I've rated books and all this other really great information. So I keep it very simple, just adding a few elements from the theme, like the little stars and hearts I've been kind of accenting my lavender with. And I think I do some lavender plants on the bottom, but I just love how this spread turns out month after month. It's just so easy and what I really need when I'm trying to remember all these things about a book is easy. So just a super easy way for me to quickly jot down information about the book when I am done with it and I love it. Usually right now I would be doing my monthly favorites spread, but it is my birthday month and I thought a great way to celebrate 21 because yes, I am turning 21, which is unbelievable to me is by doing a spread that has 21 books for 21 years so my birthday is on april 27th so on the 6th i think april 6th 
I'm going to be starting to fill out a book a day all the way leading up to my birthday and I think that'll be a really great way to kind of count down the days until that magic number and I am super excited to be filling this out every day and just still kind of wrapping my head around the fact that I'll be 21 on April 27th that is absolutely insane to me so I really love this spread and I love that it's going to kind of serve as a countdown to my birthday. Turning the page, we are finally at my monthly favorites spread. I decided to keep this one kind of simple as well. I made kind of an outline of a box and have some lavender at the bottom of it, but basically this is where I'll write down all of my favorite books, movies, TV shows, anything that I really loved in the month of April, I will put down here so that in December I can kind of look back at all these things and just see really what I loved and appreciated throughout the year of 2021 so it's kind of like a little time capsule section I guess you could call it I really like it and I, I think it turned out really well very simple a little bit different from paths months but I am just super excited for so many things coming out in April like the new shadow and bone series on Netflix I am super hopeful that that will end up in my monthly favorites spread but yeah lots of stuff to look forward to this month Because I added a page to this April spread, I had one left over and I couldn't just leave it blank, so I decided to end this monthly spread with a mini collage. I used the photos that I had left over from my first collage and I cut them out into different shapes, kind of playing with layers, and I came across a very simple, very pretty little collage that I think serves very well as kind of the end page for this entire spread it kind of leaves it off on a good note and i love how it turned out and i love how it is kind of making the end of the month more final and honestly i might continue to do this in the future months because i really liked having something to signal this is the last page here is the final flip through of the spread. I absolutely love how this turned out and I know I see that every month but for some reason the purples and the calming elements of this spread just really spoke to me and this is probably my favorite and once again I know I say that every month but I just love how relaxing and happy I get every time I look at this spread. It just brings me so much joy as you can see i added the month numbers and i added a few other small elements like more stars and hearts and i added the information into the youtube tracker so you can see all of that now but just all in all this was such a fun spread to do especially knowing that it is my birthday month and i love the month of april i'm a big taurus energy girl so everything about this spread just really made me happy and i hope you guys enjoyed it as well and that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed yet another plan with me i have so much fun doing these with you guys and i hope you guys enjoy them as well please don't forget to like subscribe and comment hit the notification bell to get updates on when i post i post every single week and it helps support my channel and me so so much and i can't wait to see you guys next week for another video bye